Good morning, St. Thomas More. And I haven't had to do many of these lately, so I'm happy about that, but I do have to correct something today, so I'd appreciate your attention. Uh, first of all, we had a pretty significant washroom vandalism incident a couple days ago in the boys' washroom outside the forum. And I just want to talk about that. What happened is a hand dryer got ripped off or kicked off the wall, and we had live electricity in that washroom. If anybody had touched a wire, we could have had, honestly, a, a serious injury and potentially a death. And so I, I do want, want to say very clearly, I know that 99% of you would never do such a thing. I know that, okay? So to the 1% who did such a thing, you're making a statement to us at the St. Thomas Mark community, and you're making a statement to Mr. Daly, the principal, and your statement is this, I do not want to be a part of the St. Thomas More community anymore. And if you're that person and you're going to destroy our washrooms, then when, when we get holding you accountable, we will look at what your next place is. It's not going to be here. Because we cannot have that at St. Thomas More. This is a student washroom. It's for students. And I'm going to stand up for the 99%, not for the 1%. So if you're one of those 1% and you think that's funny, Okay, that's fine. We'll figure out what place it's going to be for you next, and it's not going to be here. To the 99%, okay, I'm not holding you accountable for this, but if you see it in progress, what do you do? Because I understand why people are concerned if they see something like that, and all they really want to do is get away. But this is what you have to do. Walk outside the washroom, note the time on the digital clock, tell the nearest caring adult that something went on at this particular time. You can go back to your classroom and make that report. And at that point, you leave it to us to follow up because it, armed with the time and what happened, we will be able to find out the 1% doing this damage. And that's how you do it. So you can leave it to us. You don't even have to come to the office. You just tell the nearest caring adult and you have the, the time that's on the digital clock. You say this, I, was, uh, I left the washroom at 12.02. I saw a couple of kids, I don't know who they were, kicking this thing off the wall or doing this or doing that. We will take care of it at that point. Okay, so, and that's easy. Now, personally, I think you just walk down to the attendance office and tell the vice principals or the main office and tell me and leave it. But if you're worried about uh, reporting, just walk to the nearest caring adult and there's many of them in this school. And the other thing that could happen if you're in the 99% is you might just walk in and you don't see it happening, but you see that it has happened. Like if, if there's major vandalism in a washroom, please, that has to be reported in a timely fashion we had that live electricity exposed for way too long and a lot of people went in and out of there so if you see it you say look i don't know who did it but this this was there's something broken in that washroom okay these are student washrooms we got to take care of it for our students okay and what we're trying to do at this school is we're trying to keep everyone safe we're trying to get everybody on a place where they can graduate and we want people to be comfortable around here and if you're not looking out for that then you're really you're not wanting to be a part of our community and that's fine, we'll figure out what community you go to next. Okay, uh, but to the rest of you, to the 99, I'm just asking you for your cooperation in trying to tell us if you see it happening or if you know that it has happened, tell us right away so we can get it fixed and shut off and taken care of. And what a waste of money, what a waste of energy, but uh, we have to do that right away. So thank you for your cooperation, St. Thomas More, and have a great Thursday at school. Good morning, SDM. My name is Sarah. And my name is Shama, and here are your announcements for today. Yearbook Club will be having a meeting today after school in room 155. This meeting is for all members, writers, artists, and photographers. Attention STM wrestlers. If you still have your signal, you need to wash and return it to one of the coaches. Please visit room 310 as soon as possible during periods 1 to 4 to hand in your signal. If you do, do not return any borrowed singlets or shoes, you will have to pay for them. This announcement is for all girls who are interested in trying out for touch football this year. We will be having a sign-up next Wednesday at 2.50 in room 154. This is open to girls in all grades. This is a reminder for Mr. Vallello that after school today, those preparing for the Chem 13 contest will be meeting in the chemistry room. Dear staff and students, tomorrow there will be another opportunity for the Sacrament of Reconciliation. Father Paul Edmonston will hear our confessions in our chapel from 12.30 until 2.30. This is a reminder for all students interested in trying out for the junior badminton team of our tryouts today after school at 4.30 in the gym. Please remember to pick up a permission form outside of room 117. This message is for the robotics team. There will be a mandatory but short meeting today in room 137 at 2.45 p.m. Remember to bring a signed permission form in order to attend the competition. 
And from your prefects, there will be prefect tutoring today in student success in periods two, three, and four. And now for your sports. Yesterday at York University, Kalen Hockey Tournament, your STM Lady Knights brought home the gold. We were undefeated the whole tournament, facing teams from Markham and Fonzo. Goals were, sco goals were scored by Tatum Robertson, Emma Bozo, Jessica Marchesi, and Al Angelica Marconi, all with one apiece. Sadie D'Angela, Julia Fanara, and Julia Fascio had two each. Mary Hedgecock rolled out three goals, and Kennedy Sandoval had a whopping five goals. Angelica Angelina Berardi came up with a shutout in one of our games. Fantastic special door skills by Kiona McCrory. Great tournament, ladies. The coaches would like to congratulate and wish our graduating players well. Tatum Robinson, Jessica Marchese, Julia Fascio, Morella Ronco, and Kaylee Cashore. Great season, ladies. Thanks, Thanks STM. STM. STM, those are all of your announcements. Time is now 8.20. And remember, it is a great day to be a knight.